the next task is to do this one the academic declaration you can do it in many ways so it means we go to the last part of the page last 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 part here just open a new page for this right so there are so many ways in which you can do this as i said but now here we are going to find that study guide that study guide that we had downloaded at some stage so we will open it in the microsoft web so that it will be converted away from It will be converted from PDF to Microsoft Word. Then we'll be able to edit it. Okay. Now we are looking for the study guide. It was the PDF, so we must convert it to Microsoft Word, then we'll copy from there. Study guide, yeah. That is the one. We say okay here. So now it's converting from being a PDF to Microsoft Word. Still processing, you see. Yeah. Can you see there? That is our study guide is now open. So we go right towards the end to copy the declaration form there. Oops, that's going. You see these things we could have copied also here. Okay, we have scrolled right up to here. So this is a declaration form okay here just to show you how i got the declaration from the study guide up to here i didn't notice that you missed out some other things okay can you see on top there in insert so before we go there let's okay let's say insert 
and then shapes we need that text box this one I hope now you get everything right so we need to have the static guide that has been converted into Microsoft to it open and it must be open there specifically to the declaration because we want to copy the declaration okay okay here is the declaration so you don't minimize it you leave it open like this because we must copy it being open like this you it's this one so are you still with me let's go to okay now we go to insert we need to take the screenshot on that downward arrow go there go to the clipping you see it look like this so you put here the cursor you right click then you drag this thing to cover this whole part which is now a picture then you just leave everything just leave it like that can you see there it is so if you like you can now okay we need to stretch this a little bit and stretch it down a little bit so that is what actually we did to copy from the study guide right up to here we can now adjust it the way we want Yeah, I think it's it look good like this. It look really, really good. But if you want it bigger, you can still make it big. Right. Now we need to check everything and make sure everything is the same. So you need to go from one, two, three, four. Make sure everything is the same. Lastly, the date exclusive hours look like that it seems look like that okay so now we must write the weights put the weights here we must put the weights here i declare blah 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 let's quickly do that because now they say everything must be online so we need to try that okay for this one you need to shape it you need to remove no the fill say no fill no outline so that it will look professional right you can now type i See if you click outside that. Outside, outside, you see? So we've got the name now. We need to put here additional information as required. So the name. Okay, at Unisa anyway, they know me as MM CV, so we need to clear it again. No feel. Uh, yeah, I think it is well positioned. You can put full name if you want. We will work on the signature late. Let's finalize this things quick student number is gonna be here six five 
you do the same thing. No feel, no outline. Motor coat. Same procedure. No feel, no outline. Date. Can you see the? Ooh, you were missing. If it appearing, you can take it. I was taking these things here. Right. It says just for now we say twenty seven April twenty twenty two. Okay, we do the same thing. So yeah. Now we must find the signature. Yo, oh, this one we haven't formatted it. No feel, no outline. You, I'm sorry if you missed out. How did we get this? All this information we went to insert shapes, but whenever you see this illustration. Is more likely to be around there. Sometimes it's on icons, sometimes it's on shapes. So you see these are the shapes. Once you choose it once, um, you will, it will always be available there. Can you see? There is available, that's the one. So when you do the others, I was just taking the. So I hope you didn't miss anything. Okay, we've got the names, the student number, leave a bit up, we've got the module code, we've got the date, now we must sort the signature. Okay, with the signature now, it's going to be a little bit of a longer process, but we will do it, all you need to do you need to take or at the back page of your material. But I will show you once we get there. At the back page of your material, where there is a blank page or you take a blank A4, you sign there, you take a picture, you go process it to Microsoft um, PowerPoint, then you copy from it, then you bring it here. It's going to be easy in that way. But we will get to that. But at least for now, we've got the, our declaration is sorted, but it's not entirely sorted because we must still sort the signature. I will take you through how to sort the signature right from um, taking it as a picture right up to here. But while we are still here, can you see that insert? Because we will still need this. Most probably we will need this as well so we, we can put it for now until such time so watch more of my video there are so many parts for this section so just watch them out we proceed because this is not the end but I'm not going to show you the real content I'm just assisting with the structure how to sort out the structure. Okay.